Blake Lively's backlash was inevitable and long in the making. Blake Lively, known for her roles in films and television, has recently found herself at the center of controversy due to her conduct during the press tour for her latest film, It Ends With Us. The movie, adapted from the best-selling 2016 novel by Colleen Hoover, portrays the complex and emotionally charged story of Lily Bloom, a flower shop owner who becomes romantically involved with Ryle Kincaid, a charming neurosurgeon who eventually turns abusive. One would expect the press coverage of the film to focus on the sensitive and important issues of domestic violence that the movie seeks to address. However, instead of engaging in meaningful conversations about the film's themes, Blake Lively seemed to divert attention to her personal endeavors, such as her newly launched hair care line. Her approach during interviews appeared lighthearted, even flippant, which sparked considerable backlash online. A particularly viral moment occurred when Lively was asked by a reporter how someone should approach her for advice on dealing with domestic violence. Instead of using the opportunity to offer support or direct people to helpful resources, Lively responded in a cheeky manner, turning the question back on the interviewer. She suggested asking for her phone number or sharing a location, followed by a mention of Virgo traits. This response was widely criticized as tone deaf, especially given the gravity of the topic. The incident prompted many on social media to recall other instances where Lively had made questionable choices. One notable example was her 2012 wedding to Ryan Reynolds, which took place at Boone Hall Plantation in South Carolina. The plantation, known for its history of slavery, was seen by many as an inappropriate and insensitive location for a celebration. Although the couple apologized in 2020, acknowledging the painful history associated with the site, the incident has continued to cast a shadow over Lively's public image. Further scrutiny was brought to Lively's behavior in past interviews. A resurfaced 2016 interview with Norwegian journalist Kirsti Flaw during the press run for Café Society highlighted another troubling interaction. Lively, who was pregnant at the time, responded to a comment about her little bump by awkwardly reflecting the comment back to Flaw, who was not pregnant. Throughout the interview, Lively and her co-star Parker Posey engaged in a personal conversation, seemingly ignoring the journalist and making no effort to answer her questions, which led Flaw to consider quitting journalism altogether. These moments have not gone unnoticed, with many viewing Lively's actions as indicative of a broader pattern of insensitivity and disregard. In an industry where public perception is crucial, Lively's recent conduct could have lasting repercussions. As someone with a platform to advocate for meaningful causes, especially those related to her film, it's disheartening to see her use it in such a careless manner.